I was driving here and I was trying to think of something smart and funny to say at the same time. And I'm sure we know each other now so we can actually joke around about yes. it. And I'm like, okay, so what are we going to say today and make something funny? So I don't know if you've heard of the saying four ways in, no ways out. So we're in four ways. Okay. So there's yes. four ways in, no ways out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is like... It's like the Boxburg and the, the Bologna. Bologna. You get yes. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to say, when was the last time you got clapped in four ways? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, that's why I keep the partying to a minimum. I'm, I'm trying to s- save my status as well. Yeah, so. yeah. You know, keep it on the low. But, but listen, listen. Th- we all know in South Africa, okay, because these size could be deceiving. But if you see those ears, we all, all men in South Africa know, if you see ears like that, you run. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, the rugby players as well. I mean, you can, I, I promise you now, from a young man, I realized that. You look at the ears. Yeah. And when you see those ears. Running you just, at you. You, you, you. you tone down very quickly. Yeah, 100%. You know, you're yeah. like, okay, he's been through the mall a few times. These ugly ears have a benefit as well. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, it's, it's always weird because when, <laughs> when I meet new people that also don't understand the sport, they're like, yo, do you play rugby? And they're like, I look at my own body. Yeah, like, yeah. Does it, does it like, look like I'm a lock? Does it look like yeah. I'm a lock? Yeah. Uh, or, 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 or a stit? <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. They're like, it's too yay. Yes, I, re- I wrestle sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so that's basically what we try and tell them. Yeah. Just a random question off topic now. I know you don't party much or go out much, but do you find it's, it's random now, but do you find like, you know, you get those people who go out to look for Yes. Yeah. You know, do, you, do people... Challenge you. Challenge you or come to you and say like, okay, I'm going to teach this kid a lesson or something. Or do you think there's a total different approach to those type of people, yeah. you know, the guys that always look for fights yeah. and they probably respect you because of your sport? Yeah, definitely. I think there's, we've had like a, a, a ha- maybe one handful of incidents or just like weird type of interactions yeah. with people, but mostly it's just love I, I think yeah, we get a lot of respect for what we do and um, you know I've never ha- really had a massive problem with stuff like that so and if there is then I'll just leave yeah. <laughs> yeah. and yeah, also just, like it even can, it can go really wrong because yeah. you're a professional fighter yeah, so technically you're not really allowed but to but it's yeah. also part of their discipline eh? yeah 100% they, they you know Monet and them are, it's part of the discipline of mm. fighting the more disciplined and professional and actually the more um, um, dangerous you are, the actual more disciplined those people are. Mm, yeah. Because also they, their hands fall in a different category, mm. you know, of its weapons. And, and not just the hands, you know, the whole body. Yeah. But I find guys that are on that level to be quite the opposite mm. of a, a roller, you know, that thinks he can roll a box uh, you weekend. know, over the weekend. No, but I'm telling you now, you know, we, we might include this or not, but that's a discipline when I respect. Mm. You know, nowadays, honestly, in South Africa, I see it all the time. And, and they, are, they are guys that are fighting five and six and seven on one and, and doing permanent damage for the rest of their mm, lives. Yeah. We must stop that nonsense. 100%. This, this nonsense of going out there and being brave when you were 10 mates and stuff, I personally think that is the worst behavior you can yeah. ever do. You know, and I, and I don't have the ease capacity, but that's the only time that I will stand up in a situation when that type of shit happens. Yeah. Whether well, I am the first one to fall or not, and probably am. Well, if you take it from like an early age, we have a kids program as well, um, Little Legends, where we have um, martial arts, we teach it to kids ages five to 13, and then they go into our high school program. But uh, if we, we have a lot of parents calling us and they're like, listen, we have a bit of a problem. My kid is bullying kids at school. They yeah. were like, great, we want those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. want to recruit bring, them. Bring yeah, those. Because you just channel that, that yeah. energy somewhere else, you know. So if you have your, your brawlers and stuff like that, it's great to have that. Just come to the gym. Yeah. Do it there, you know, yeah. in a safe environment, under under the surveillance of coaches Correct. and will probably improve your technique as well. Yeah. So you'll look better doing it. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, yes. exactly. Come to the gym. <laughs> okay, that's so wonderful and it's so inspirational. So a youngster today, 14 years old, 13 years old, and we know as boys, you know, um, we, we go through a massive development in that time in our lives. Um, and by just surrounding yourself with the wrong people, getting the wrong advice, your life can change quite easily in that time. Yeah. And it shapes you for quite some time afterwards. Mm-hmm. But for the youngsters out there at the moment, what would you put together in words 
to inspire them? That's a very good question. I, I, it, it really does come back to sur- trying to surround yourself with good people. But also, the people you surround yourself can only take you so far. Create healthy habits. Yeah. I think um, you know, <laughs> I, I also had very unhealthy habits that I had to try and work on. And yeah. you still have your odd thing you need to try and fix. Yeah, your vice really, or yeah. your... Yeah, I know what you mean. I do think it comes down to um, finding... It's hard, but finding a passion, looking at how you can contribute with that passion. You know, when I started fighting, I never thought that I could make a living out of it. Uh, I I found something that I loved and I tried to figure out how can I basically have this pay rent. (laughs) And if I can do my passion and just pay, have enough money to buy food, we're good to go. You know, so... um, so basically, it actually comes down to uh, have very low expectations. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I hear you. Like, I hear you. Yeah. be happy with with what you have, be content with that, but also just try and follow follow that dream. Yeah. And um, I think if guys can do that, and with people around them, obviously, that's why I always say I'm very fortunate and very lucky because I would not be in the position I am now if it wasn't for a handful of people yeah. that were there with me. 